What's up guys, welcome back to another muscle car walk around here at Coyote Classics. Today, Chad and I are gonna check out this 1967 Firebird convertible. Uh, this is a factory red on red car uh, with 100% original interior. Yeah, this is such a cool car, Dalton. And uh, like you said, what a great color combination. So many people go ahead and uh, paint their muscle cars red, but this one came from the factory that way. So that's really cool. And this car's got a great look. I mean, I love the choice of wheels and uh, the stance that this Firebird has. They call this Regimal, Regiment Red. I bet you can't say that three times fast. No, I don't want to say it again, man. I already screwed it up once. So, as we go ahead and look underneath this hood, the bottom of the hood is painted flat black. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, this car is presented pretty much exactly like it came from the factory. Original red paint, original red interior that's never been changed out. Yep. Power steering, 326, two barrel. Yep. No one's ever messed with this car. Original radiator, no one's put an aluminum radiator, electric fans, no one's done anything to this thing. Um, Besides put some sick ass wheels on it. Yeah, they did put some cool wheels on it. Um, just runs excellent. Grant went ahead and uh, went through this thing. We put all new plug wires, points, condenser, just a complete tune, and uh, it runs fantastic. As we go back here to the uh, um, fender tag, towel tag here, it is R-1 for paint and then 258-Z. So, great car, guys. It looks like the engine was freshly painted as well. Yeah, it's the front bumper. Um, when they went ahead and did the uh, new paint job, they went ahead and uh, replaced, re the front bumper. The paint on the front balance is in great shape. And this car has got an awesome shine. I mean, your reflection in here is just fantastic. No one's cloned anything. They left it with the 326 badges on the hood. These Firebirds are such cool cars. I mean, they're so much like the Camaros as far as like similar shape. Um, but they're, I don't know, they're just different. They're more classy, yeah. I feel, with the different badging. and. Well, Pontiac and Olds, I mean, and that's the same thing with the GTOs, the 442s, the Chevelles, right? The Chevelles, yeah. the basic, uh, the four. And I love Chevelles, but the 442s and the uh, were a little bit more uh, luxury. Yeah, they rode better. You know, they just rode rode better. The GTOs rode a little better. At least that's my opinion. So as far as the paint goes, the front fender, passenger side paint is excellent, and a guy's not going to get the uh, gaps to fit any better. Um, that's another thing with this car. This car came in and it's super solid, guys. It just uh, um, needed to be underpainted, so we painted it all black underneath and a really clean car. The back gap here is in excellent shape as well. Check out how this uh, bottom of the door lines up just beautifully with the back of that quarter panel. said this so often low mileage original cars they line up better they drive better they're just tend to be better you can't restore them better than than, they than were the factory, factory did no you definitely can't look at the trunk lid I mean, like i said this car hasn't been to my knowledge hasn't been hit um, it just fits awesome top of the trunk lid fits great both sides fit great to the back of the quarter um, the tail lights are excellent they're original back bumper has been re-chromed that's fantastic back balance looks good we have just a little bit here buffing compound guys and you'll notice it in the photographs too I need should have got that off but right on that corner but there's no bubbles or blisters anywhere I can see here on the passenger side and a great quality paint very nice and a great stance with these wheels um, as far as our tire size goes um, we got 255 45 18s on the back and they really fit that wheel well nicely 17s on the front. 17s on the front, perfect. Um, as we come in here in the door jam paint, it's got new stoppers, new rubbers. That corner of the door is absolutely mint. Bottom of the door looks nice. Again, original red car. Never been any other color besides red as far as I can see. 
original door panels. I mean, <laughs> look at this. We got just a little bit of a, a mark right here in the door panel, a little bit of a stress crack. Other than that, that door panel is perfect. Original carpet on the door panel. You can see it's just a skosh faded, but not bad at all. Um, the dash pad's in great shape, except for it has one little nick. Looks right like here. someone put their tooth in it. <laughs> it's like, they might have hit the brakes a little too fast. <laughs> Could have. Um, it has the original uh, energy absorbent uh, steering wheel, a couple cracks in the original steering wheel. Uh, odometer shows 43,734. You guys can be the judge of if it's 143 or 43. Um, from me. It's got an old Kmart uh, AM FM cassette in there. Did that you still work, work your dad at Kmart? I did work at Kmart, Super Kmart, Super K. <laughs> That was my first career. It's a good job. Sporting goods. Sporting goods. Um, as far as the heater goes, heater works awesome. Wipers work. And parked correctly. Rear view mirror is nice and tight. Visors are tight. Kick panels are original. They function as they should. Um, carpet. As far as the, kick, or the uh, scuff plates, guys, I did replace the scuff plates when it came in. Um, we went ahead and ordered new scuff plates, and I also put a couple uh, new rubbers in it as well. Um, seat backs in great shape. The carpet could or could not be original. If you look right here, guys, you can see a fade to it. Um, so it definitely could be the original carpet still if the miles are correct. Get a little... If somebody sat here in the back seat with something in their pocket and it's got just a little bit, a guy could probably glue that, but it is there. It's got the GM seat belts in the back. The door panels are in fantastic shape. It's like the... Ashtrays are clean. And look at the door panels on the back. I mean, they're just, the whole car in the interior is just fantastic for original. You can see the top of the console's got some, uh, some of the original die chipped off a little bit. It's got the two-speed power glide, original wood grain. Column looks nice, the original paint on the steering column. As we look up and down the driver's side, that looks nice as well. Dalton's kind of walking trying around to trying to chips. find some. Here's like a little. Yeah, here's another one too, guys. Just you know, just a little tiny little discoloration. There's just a couple like little, oh, yeah. little tiny chips, but you really gotta have a keen eye to yeah, see it. And, and just the shine and the paint quality. This looks fantastic on it. It's a great car. And guys, we cleaned this and took pictures of it here uh, last week. We had to do a little bit of brake work. We put all new brakes on the front of this thing, um, turned the drums and went ahead and put all new shoes on it, everything, wheel cylinders. So we had a little work to do on a new tune-up. So there's a, some spots here you can see here, just the wax. It needs to be cleaned a little better again, but we just got it done and pulled it out front for the video. I wanted to get it on for the weekend, but it's a great car. As far as our gap here on the door, it's in good shape as well. Uh, bottom of the door lines up really nice to that quarter. Rocker molding's good, wheel well trim molding's nice, bottom of the fender's in great shape. Check this out, doll. The cowl, yeah, the cowl to the top of the hood, top of the fender. Top of the fender, top of the door, all lines up nice. I mean, as far as the body on this car, I'm very impressed. Yeah, and the paint. And the paint. People. I mean, this is definitely, um, in my opinion, now you have original interior, guys, but a show quality paint, body. Um, if it runs Even half as good as it looks, under the hood we got looks, a good car. Yeah, under the hood looks nice yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, go to our website, guys. Check out the undercarriage, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, look inside the trunk as well. Do you want to drive over the top down today or should we put her up? I'll put it up. I'll kind of go through the door here first. Um, again, new rubbers. Corner of the door is in great shape. The bottom of the door. Um, driver's side door panel. Excellent shape, just like the passenger, except for right here. Very, very small crack. And when Jay cleans these cars, guys, uh, he goes through, here's the difference. I mean, he goes through every little crevice in these seats. Yeah, he's... And gets, them, gets all the old dust and dirt and everything out of there. And it really makes this original interior. That's how old? 16? And it, 
it almost uh, 50 years old? Yeah, 53 yeah. years old. It looks freaking like new and in I'll, the back. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it, it did not when it went to Jason. But Chad ain't shitting you when he said he went there with a rag and went through every little slit on these seats. I mean, he's got some high intensity OCD, but we're grateful for it. <laughs> exactly. Here's our cord, guys. If a guy you take to a upholstery shop, you can definitely have that fixed right there. But that is the only freaking wear on the original interior, the original seat. That the and only, that. Yeah, the only yeah. Like, actual. It is. Wear. That's it. That's crazy. So I'll go ahead and put the. You want to go ahead and take the camera, doll? I'll put the top up and show them how the windows go up and down. Goes up nice and <clears throat> and even. And with the top, the top looks older, so when you got like a couple little scuffs, but really not bad. And to be honest, if you got a Firebird convertible, you got a convertible for a reason. And that reason is you want to drive it with the top down. Uh, so great looking top, but. You're not gonna have it up that much anyway. The windows go up and down real nice, guys. Back windows went up awesome. So does the, so does the driver's side. Yeah, they go up great. Uh, gas gauge works 43,734 miles. Um, heater works great. Especially on a day like today, you wanna roll up your window belt. Nice and smooth. Yeah, this I, I love the consoles with these factory uh, seat belt holders. Yeah, those are those are original nice. seat belts, aren't they? Yeah, everything is. That's stuff. crazy. Everything's original except for those scuff plates we put. Is it radio? No, that's aftermarket or it's Kmart. Saturday. Kmart. Kmart. We talked about Kmart. It. Kmart. I didn't. I didn't. Blue light special. As we look out over the hood, the uh, top of the fenders matches up beautifully to the top of the hood. The paint looks gorgeous. It's got great great lines on it. I mean, it's, this is a in a great stance. I'll be honest, it's a better car than I thought it was, and I, that's kind of the realization we have every time we buy a car and run it through the shops. After Brant spends his day on it, tuning it, getting everything right mechanically, doing this the one brakes. took like three days. Yeah, it's three days with Brant and a day and a half with Jason. They're a completely different car. Yeah. What a good car! And again, it, guys, it's not going to be a big powerhouse with that two barrel. Um, but if a guy wants to, you have a laser straight body, beautiful paint, nice interior. If you want to spend 700 bucks and get a nice four barrel, go ahead and do it. I mean, you still got a hell of a car. It's a cool car. I just went ahead and touched those brand new brakes. I know I got somebody behind me, but the steering wheel is perfectly straight, just like we want here. The brakes didn't pull left or right. Um, power steering, that's another thing. A lot of these smaller cars didn't have it. Mm -hmm. So power steering is a really nice option for this car. Horn works. Oh yeah. Uh oh, he's trying to pass me right out of the gun. Oh, oh, he thinks he's. Oh, and that's a uh, Merlin. Who is it? Merlin, the oh, VA. <laughs> Merlin beat us in the Charger, but he did beat us. But, <laughs> but we're still doing 65 mile an hour. Check this out. Going around a curve, so I better grab the wheel. But fantastic driving Firebird. And then how about windows? I was just gonna mention that for a convertible, it's really pretty good. Yeah, great car, guys. Just a fantastic jump in and go car. Uh, goes down the road, fantastic. You can't ask for much better than that. No. I mean, and the Real possibilities game. are endless with it too. No pull. Did a great job on the brakes. Yeah. Drum brakes are kind of a pain in the butt, guys, but when they're new and they stop perfect like that, well, they'll stop just as nice as the disc. Yeah, they will. Tell sometimes if they're not set right, they'll stop even faster. <laughs> this thing sounds good, too. Yeah, Take it does. It Two speed power guide, wind it up. Shift nice speed. shift. It's a great driving car. Guys, check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go on Instagram, Facebook, check us out there. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.